Last week, we visited one of the best preserved ancient cities in Turkey, Sagalassos. Located on a mountain slope in the Taurus and surrounded by valleys, Sagalassos was an extremely important city. We got to learn that the main reason people settled there was that they had all the needed resources nearby. In addition to that, as a hilltop settlement, it was relatively easy to defend it. Today marks one month of my stay here in this lakeside town a year dear, which means that it's just about time to relocate. the thing the other day I actually learned quite a fascinating thing so apparently there is this Turkish coffee fortune telling thing it's one of the oldest practices there are professionals who do this but sometimes it's just between friends who know the meaning of certain symbols or they have some experience with it you should use a cup which is plain from the inside okay the point is that if you drink the coffee you have to take this little plate and you kind of cover it Swing it three times like clockwise and after you just flip it and you have to wait for like 10 minutes until this cools down. So after like 10-15 minutes when it cools down you separate the cup from the plate and this is the moment to be creative because they do the fortune telling thing based on the symbols and numbers and pictures and whatever they see inside the cup. The bottom of the cup supposed to signify the past, the midsection of the cup is the present and the area around the rim symbolizes the future. After you start seeing some symbols, all of those symbols have some meaning and you just might see triangles or numbers or letters there is like a large scale of signs and meanings that was the fun fact Then, the next morning we started the 330 km long bus ride from Isparta to Dalaman. Okay, here is my experience with the Turkish buses. I think the public transport here works really well, but here is the thing what happened today. So since Ramadan starts tomorrow, they told me that maybe it's better if I get the tickets online because sometimes the first day can be a little bit hectic so I got the tickets and I came to the bus station and they were like the bus is cancelled, there is no bus so I waited for like 15 minutes and after they were like okay there is a different bus company which you can take and yeah anyway but the fun thing I want to show you is my bus ticket which looks like this I successfully managed to sleep through the whole afternoon. Yesterday was a bit long because the bus ride took five hours. Then I had to take another bus for like an hour. And after that, the third bus, which brought me to the city center. And I just directly went to the hospital because I had to get tested.
the bus driver was super nice because he just dropped me right in the hospital. Those four pictures are literally my memories from Dalaman. I guess it's a bit sad. I am at home already, but it was a fun month in Turkey. 